hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here we factor 4 raised to power x out that is we have 4 raised to power x into brackets we are left with 1 plus 1 then plus 1 plus bracket equals to 40 on this side that is here this becomes 4 raised to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's 3 equals to 40 from here the next step we divide both side by 3 that is divide this side by 3 also divide this side by 3 that is here 3 cancelled each other then what we have left becomes 4 raised to power x equals to 40 over 3 then here we take the log on both sides that is here we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 40 over 3. That is, next step, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. Then, what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log. 40 over 3. The next step here, we divide this side by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4. That is, here we have log 4 cancelled each other. And then, x left here, which is equal to log 40 over 3 divided by log 4. Then, from what we have here, we apply the law of logarithm. From when we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 40 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 40 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, next step here, also we can express 40 as 4 times 10, which implies we have x equals to log 4 times 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 then this also follows from the law of logarithm when we have log a times b is same thing as log a plus log b that is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, and here we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 which implies here log 4 cancel each other we have one left that is x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 4 Log minus log 3 over log 4. Then also here, can we write 10 as 2 times 5? And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 4 
minus log 3 over log 4. Then, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. And also, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, and what we have here, we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 square. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 square, then plus log 5 over log 2 squared minus log 3 over log 2 squared. Then, we apply the power of logarithm here. 2 comes here from here and also here. Then we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 2. At this here, we have log 2 cancelled each other, 1 over 2 left. At this x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2, then plus here. We can separate this as 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2, then minus also 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2, which implies here. 1 plus 1 over 2, same thing as 1 number 1 over 2, which can be written as 3 over 2. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 over log 2 minus 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2. Then, next step here we apply change of base from when we have log a over log b, which is same thing as log a to base b. Then what we have becomes x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. And also here, we can bring this together as one fraction. Now we have x equals to the SCM here, that's 2. And here we mean 3, then plus. Here we have log 5, base 2. And here we have minus log 3, base 2. That is the value of x here. We have 3 plus log 5, base 2, minus log 3, base 2, all over 2. Then, Let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2. And what we have here becomes 4 raised to power. 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2 plus also 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2 also plus 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 
minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 on this side then we have same thing added together three times just like when we have a plus a plus a with the same thing as 3 times a then we can write what we have as 3 times 4 which is raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then is equals to 40 here the next step here we can write 4 as 2 square and we have 3 times 2 square which is raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 on this side and from here this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other we have 3 times 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 is it equals to 40 on this side then okay. here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power n plus n equals to a raised to power n times a raised to power n and also a raised to power n minus n which is the same thing as a raised to power n over a raised to power n this becomes 3 times 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power log 5 is 2 which is divided by 2 raised to power log 3 is 2 then is it equals to 40 on this side then here we have 3 times 2 raised to power 3 2, two multiply itself 3 times that's 8 then times this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b this this same thing as 5 then over also this is 3 now is it equals to 40 here that is here we have this 3 can switch other and we are left with 8 times 5 is it equals to 40 on this side and of course 8 times 5 gives us 40 which is equals to 40 here then we have left hand side is equals to the right hand side and therefore, we can conclude here that x equals to 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next lesson. Bye for now.